Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today I will be reviewing the AJ Crimson Dual Skin Foundation, and I, I'm so excited about this. So, in this video, as I always do with any of my foundation reviews, I will be doing a full day wear test. All of my wear tests are at least a minimum of nine hours. A lot of times they're longer. We will be doing flash photography to ensure that there is or is not flashback. And I will be sharing my thoughts at the end of the day, telling you my experience with the foundation and if I recommend it to you all. So stay tuned for all of those details. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for constantly coming back, for supporting my channel with all of your likes and comments and shares. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. Okay, so I have been wearing this AJ Crimson foundation for over four years now. And guys, let me just tell you about this man. I'm not gonna go into details because my um, girls, Kelsey and Alicia, we, we have a show called Behind the Beauty with Lisey, Kelsey, and Chelsea. And we actually featured him on Alicia's channel last Wednesday. So I will link it for you right here so you can, oh my gosh, this man is phenomenal. But in short, he is a global makeup artist. He has his own makeup brand. This man is just phenomenal. So <laughs> um, back then though, I reached out to him asking what shade I would be. He was very informative, very helpful. And so this is definitely a brand that I'm going to invest more of my money into because it's not so much about the products, but it's, it, it is the person behind the products. And I knew that the products were great but like knowing that the that the person behind the products is even greater and not just because of what he's done but because of just his kindness and just passion for people i was sold so today we're going to be reviewing the actual foundation i got the refill because i'm going to purchase the artist kit and then in and make it personal to myself so i ended up purchasing the refill but if you were only interested in one shade you can get the foundation compact and i'll insert a picture right here so you can see what the compact looks like but this is what the refill pan looks like and as you can see i've already used some of it um like i mentioned i have the shade four just to give you some quick details about this foundation it does come in 12 shades and the refills are $25. The actual compacts are $45. We get a total of 0.25 ounces of product or seven grams of product. These foundations are hand poured, which I think which I think is very interesting and very personalized. Um, so they say on the website that no pan is identical because each pan is going to be hand poured. Um, this foundation is a cream product. It's going to be um, all natural. So the base of the foundation is beeswax and it's gonna be paraben free and cruelty free. You can use his foundations as a foundation, a concealer or a contour. And it's going to be full coverage, enough coverage to cover your tattoos. It lasts up to 18 hours, especially if you use his powder. It's water resistant, the coverage is buildable. It's gonna be perfect for all skin types, oily, normal, dry, and combination skin. And he says that it is best applied with a blush brush. And I meant to ask him that question when we interviewed him, but I was like, why a blush brush? Not too sure about that, but that's what he says. Let's get into the demonstration. So I actually, I'm not gonna put on primer today. I've worn this foundation recently a few times and I have not worn it with a primer and I just thoroughly enjoy it without a primer. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just not gonna put on a primer. So I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 101 brush. So what I've been doing with this foundation is pressing my foundation brush into it and then kind of blending it on the back of my hand and then pressing it into the skin. And look at the coverage we have with that, with me putting product on the back of my hand and pressing it into the skin. Like I said, this foundation is most definitely one that can be built up to full coverage, but it does not have to stay full coverage. So as you can see, as I'm blending it out, first, I like to just press the foundation into my skin just to get it on there and 
to also give me a uh, base coverage. And then I will go back in and start to just blend it out. I really like to apply this foundation with pressing motions. I, I really feel like it helps the foundation to just really sink into the skin. And as you can see, you don't really need to like swipe and blend it. It's just, it really just kind of blends in itself. I also feel like by pressing the foundation into my skin, it really does sink into my pores, but it sinks into my pores on, honestly almost to like plump them up so you don't see them, which is why I have not been applying a primer. I'm just so impressed by how this foundation really does mesh within your skin. It really is a dual skin cream foundation, as he says. But as you can see, I really like the smooth coverage that this foundation leaves the skin. It, in my opinion, looks very skin-like, but also very perfected. Yes, you can tell that I'm wearing foundation because you don't see my freckles anymore, but I also don't feel like the foundation looks caked on or like it looks like it's too much. It is so, it just really does mesh and blend within the skin. I also like that this has some radiance to it as well, so it's not gonna be dull. It's not gonna look flat. Um, I don't really like matte foundations that just suck the life out of your face. I do like a little more radiance with the foundation because then I can control the shine to my liking. And so I really like this radiance that we do have here. So now I'm gonna go in with a damp sponge. This is the BK Beauty sponge. So I'm just gonna pounce the butt of the sponge into the product and then blend it into the skin. And this is my first time using the foundation with a sponge. I tend to like brushes as most of you all know, if you've seen any of my foundation reviews. So with the sponge, I have dipped the sponge back into the foundation twice, so, um, or three times. So when I go back into the foundation, I just go one, two, with the butt of the sponge. So I've done that three times now um, to get the coverage that I feel sort of matches the brush side. I do think that as you can see, I have a little less coverage with the sponge then we do the brush, which makes sense. The brush is able just to pack on a little bit more of a punch with coverage than the sponge side. But I do think we were able to build up the sponge side fairly well. So if you are a person who prefers a sponge, I do think that you can use a damp sponge to build up coverage. So I'm gonna come in a little closer so we can see the foundation up close on my so skin. So here we have the foundation. Remember, this is how it looks with the brush side. And normally I have pores right around here along my forehead and of course here. And I really think that without a pore filling primer, the foundation looks really good. It's not grabbing anywhere, even though I don't have any um, uh, dry patches going on right now, but I have applied foundations before. If you didn't know, I'm a foundation junkie. I have applied foundations before and I have not had dry patches, but they just kind of cling to areas where it's like, well, what's going on there? Um, so I just really like how just smooth this foundation is. And like I said, I love when you can put on makeup and you don't have to do a step because the product that you're applying addresses that. And for me, like I said, I don't have large pores, but I'm loving the fact that I do not have to apply a primer to fill my pores because this foundation does not accentuate it. It does not sink into it and make you go, oof, I should have put a primer on before this. So, this is where we are now. Just to give you a heads up, I do include in the description box um, about five or six foundation shade references that I am. So if you're wondering, okay, she's a shade four, but what is she in other foundations? Definitely go and check that. I actually include that in all of my um, videos just as a reference for you. So you can go down there and see what other shades I wear in other foundations. Okay, so let's do some flash photography to see if there is any flashback with this particular foundation. So as you can see, there is no flashback with this foundation, which I did know because I've worn this foundation before, um, but I always like to share that with you all because I think it's just important for you all to know. So this foundation is safe to wear if you're gonna be wearing it at night, taking flash photography, or anything of the sort. So I'm gonna go apply the rest of my foundation. I will check back in when all of that is applied and then we will check back in at the end of the day so I can share with you my final thoughts and my recommendations of this foundation. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've had the foundation on for three hours and this is what everything looks like on top of my face. I did just do a review of the Kaleidos Make Your Escape 
collection so i will link it for you right here that's why i have two different eye looks going on but this is what the foundation looks like three hours in as you can see right along here i do have some settling of the foundation so right here and this is my major smile line. So if foundation is going to settle, it is going to settle here. So we'll just keep an eye out to see if the settling increases as it goes throughout the day, or if this is just what it's gonna look like and you know, just stays there looking like that. I don't have, an, have any settling around here, which is great. But overall, I feel like everywhere else on my face looks really nice. If I'm going to get any type of oil production, it will occur right along here. And so far, I think my face just looks nice and luminous. It does not look greasy and oily, which is great. Because if a foundation is too thick, I will produce more oils because my pores are clogged and they feel dry. Um, also, if a foundation is too matte. So I'm liking the way that my skin looks almost three hours in so stay tuned and i will check back in at the end of the day okay so we are back it is the very end of the day as a matter of fact it is 1206 a.m so that means that i've had this foundation on for well over 13 hours maybe like 13 and a half hours so i am looking very dewy right now but i will say my face does not feel heavy so there are times where i look like this and i feel like my face feels heavy i've had this foundation on all day and i have i've actually forgotten that i've had it on because it doesn't feel heavy so i'll come in a little closer so we can take a look at everything so remember this smile line right here and i'm taking a look at it and the foundation has not settled any more than what it was earlier today um, so that is good. I definitely see more oils here. Um, but surprisingly, the look of my pores, and I'm just looking from far away, the look of my pores are still not accentuated, which that's one of the biggest things that has really shocked me about this foundation. Although it is a cream, it is not sinking into my pores and I don't need to use a pore filling primer. And I'm quite shocked by that. So I'm gonna blot. And I think after blotting, the foundation still looks good. So let me tell you what I did today. Today, um, I took a little bike ride with the family in the neighborhood and it actually started raining while we were out there. So it wasn't pouring down raining, but it was definitely um, rain on my face. And, rem and I remembered this being waterproof as well. And so I feel like the foundation is held up really good. Um, I do have a little friend peeking through here. <laughs> um, so I do see a little bit of redness right around here just from where my pimple is coming through. But everywhere else on my face, I feel like the foundation really did hold up well. Of course, I ate and all of that stuff. Um, I had to actually put my mask on a few times today from going to get some food and I feel like you don't see anywhere where the mask, you know, came off. It definitely does transfer, so it's not transfer proof because of course I saw, you know, foundation within my mask, but I don't feel like you see the wearing away of it on my face. I feel like if I actually had to still kind of continue wearing this throughout the day, I really could. So I really enjoy this foundation. I definitely recommend this foundation for people who love full coverage, who love flawless finishes, and even if you don't like full coverage foundation, I think you could just definitely just use less of this. Like for me, I like a good solid medium coverage. A lot of times, especially now that it's getting warmer, I like lighter coverage foundations. So for me, I would probably take my foundation brush. Here's another one. I'd probably take my foundation brush and literally like dab it in one good time and just apply whatever that is along my face if I want lighter coverage. And then if I want like more medium coverage, probably like two dabs and then go in. And because I feel like from what we saw in the beginning of the video, if you add a lot of foundation or if you just, you know, dab your sponge or brush into the foundation a few times, you're gonna get full coverage kind of right off the back. And it's fine if that's what you like, but for people like me who like more of a lighter to medium coverage, just don't use a lot. It does blend so smoothly into the skin and it is very long lasting. Like I'm looking at myself far away and I'm just like, 
we could go another few hours if we needed to. Um, so I'm really excited about this foundation. I'm gonna order this foundation in shade two so I can use it as a highlighter and I'm also gonna get shade six so I can use it as a contour bronzer. So when I get those two in the mail, I will also do another video showing you how they wear, how I like them as, you know, a bronzer, contour, and as an under eye concealer. But as a foundation, it's a winner for me. Let me know your thoughts down below as to how you feel the foundation wore. Let me know if you are interested in the foundation. And just for the record, this is the same day. I just changed my eye look and changed my shirt. Just had a lot going on today. <laughs> but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, let me know if this is a foundation that you're interested in. If there are any other products from the brand that you are interested in me trying. I want to try the lip products because I remember him talking about them. And I was like, ooh, I need to try those. Um, so yeah, let me know if there's anything else from the brand that you would like for me to try. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.